Welcome to the Setting the Captives Free show. And in my curse series, I'm going to speak briefly of various curses that plague um, many people in various ways with a hopes to really assisting or helping you get clear on what the curse is and how it is, of course, manifesting or operating in your life. In the description box below will, of course, be the, the further contact information if you actually decide to do something about it. The spirit that I want to speak about today is the spirit that we call the deaf and dumb spirit. This one is not lesser known, but it is a curse based on confusion. When you are really detached from life, you space out at times, meaning you daydream a lot. When you have conversations with people and what you say is not understood, people turn your words and they switch their, you know, your words around on you and basically <laughs> speak back to you something that you didn't say at all. When you feel that people misunderstand you a lot, when you feel that you are detached from the area of communication, spiritually you do not hear from um, your God, spiritually you do not hear from the wisdom of people around you. It seems like you are always at the wrong place at, you know, the wrong time. You are missing opportunities a lot. Also, because it is not just deaf and you just do not um, hear, it is also based on blindness, meaning your spiritual sight is blocked. You cannot see people for what they are. You cannot see opportunities, things for what they are. You are always back and forth with your decision-making because you're not sure if this decision is going to be an effective, productive one for you. You are plagued by this very horrendous spirit that is, of course, called the spirit of deaf and dumbness. They are twins, and they're twins because once, once someone's hearing is blocked, their eyesight is blocked also. Just the way that our bodies are, you know, physically um, uh, created and designed, everything in that upper, you know, cavity, especially as we're, we're talking about the top hemisphere of your body, is connected sometimes, and, you know, just if you have a cold, you'll know that. Sometimes, you know, you have ringing in your ears. That is also a symptom of this spirit. Um, and, you know, your throat sometimes, you, you tend to have throat problems a lot. But not only that, you'll know that when you get sick, if something, you know, messes with your ear, it also messes with your throat. That is because they are connected together. It is a horrendous spirit. People that are really plagued by this um, more so than others hear, like I said, ringing in their ears often. They hear voices uh, quite a bit, and they don't know uh, who is speaking. Sometimes they hear someone call their name, and uh, uh, you look around and you don't, you know, you don't see anybody. You don't, um, you know, discern or perceive anybody, but you know that someone has called your name. I do want to say this about people that are plagued with this type of spirit too. You're slow to understand things. You're slow in the area of learning. Sometimes people have to explain stuff to you four and five times before you get it, before you really understand it. You put off education. You put off learning because you don't think that you are going to be able to hang or uh, stay caught up with, you know, your other peers. You can be free from it. Um, some of the time this spirit comes in, you know, through uh, various, you know, generations, your, your, your family, whether your maternal or your paternal side. Sometimes it comes through you, of course, in just the relationships that uh, we find ourselves in, you know, just having sex with certain people. That is why, and some people don't understand this, but as, you know, a, a, a priestess, I know that everybody is not meant to mix together. You cannot do that. You just you cannot partake of the sexual fluids. You cannot have sex with just anybody. No, no, you, you have to be on equal footing. You have to be. If you are not, you're going to find out that a lot of spirits and a lot of curses 
that are on one person, you will share also. And getting free from any of these spirits, binding any of these spirits, uh, is not something that uh, you really can do on your own. Uh, you just you just can't because you have to be able to substitute the problem for the remedy, and that's why you always need you know outside help because a lot of times you don't know where the problem came in, what the problem is, and you don't know the remedy because. In order to be free from something, you have to cancel that curse. You have to cancel that spirit with something equal to or more powerful than it. And depending on whether this came in from your mother's line or your father's line, there are different ways of being set free. So having said that, uh, the link to further information and how to, of course, contact me is in the description box. Uh, do not email me. I get entirely too many emails. You know, I would love to, uh, you know, e you know, respond to everybody, but I can't. I get entirely too many emails um, every day. So if this is something that you need to be free of, you can, one, either call me. We can just talk about it in the consultation, or you can go ahead and set up, and we can actually begin to do the work. I will require a three-week block of your time to deal with this particular curse also. Okay, thank you. That's it. And that is for our first um, curse in our series of curses that I'm going to go through. This one was on the spirit or the curse of death and dumbness. Y'all be blessed.